Every year, millions of people are affected by drunk driving accidents. These could easily have been prevented by the choices made by the drivers. Every day in America, 28 people die as a result of a drunk driving accident. This not only affects their families, but friends, relatives, everything well, is affected when someone dies as a uh, drunk driving accident. Every 90 seconds, someone is injured as a result of drunk driving. For every arrest made before a driving accident occurs, it saves a life. Everything in about drunk driving is completely preventable. The choice to drink and drive is yours. The choice to take someone's life can uh, be directly related to that. All right, let's set the scene. As you can see, there are two fine young gentlemen. We do not know their names, so let's refer them to as guy number one and guy number two. You see, it appears that these men had a little too much fun with their buddies and now are totally wasted. So wasted, they are carrying their beers right out the door with them. I have no idea why. <sighs> Anyways, as you may know, driving while drunk could have some serious consequences. Anyway, let's see what kind of consequences that these guys make and the outcome of it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you had a bit too much. No, I didn't have too much. Hey, some guy work or something? Yeah, yeah. You wanna drive? You can drive, I'm a little tipsy. Hey, you sure you can drive? I can drive, yeah. But I can't see, what's the door? I'm better driving drunk than I am sober. Alright, good Well, they already screwed up. One of these guys know that over 1.2 million drivers were arrested in 2011 for driving under the influence of alcohol. And because of that, it cost the United States 132 billion, yes, billion dollars a year. Making the choice to drive while drunk doesn't just harm the lives of you, your friends, or others. It also harms the life of that 07 Mercury Milan with a four-cylinder 2.3 liter engine running at 29 miles per gallon and that interior is also looking fancy too don't get me started on that it has that nice black and silver dash the doors are all nice and silver it's all fancy and like all fancy cars they got that that cool looking clock. You know the one I'm talking about. Not the not the digital ones. I'm talking about the luxurious ones. The, the big high class clocks with the minute and hour hands. You actually have to know how to tell time to figure out what the time is. That's when you know that this car is high class. And all that fanciness, whew, you do not want to sacrifice that car. Plus, the insurance will go up. Just just think about that. Wait, wait. These are real people? These aren't actors? Who who hired these people? These are real people. You found these random people and started recording them and they didn't care? Is the cameraman keeping the peace? What is the cameraman doing? He's just recording these guys drive around drunk? I thought these were actors. So you're saying these people are real? The car is real. The town's real. The bar is real. That's real booze. And they're really drunk. How are how are we getting funded for this? How's the government funding for this PSA if these aren't actors and we're really endangering real people's lives? Am I still getting paid? I am? Alright. I could I guess I can roll with this even though this is completely retarded this makes no sense I thought these were actors so we're really putting these people's lives in danger all right I guess I can deal with that Just run, stop, stop. why is the cameraman not why is the cameraman not having him stop at stop signs what the heck is going on what the fuck is this this is not what I signed up for
I wasn't expecting to actually put people's lives in danger. This is ridiculous. At least make them stop at stop signs. Come on. I guess that just shows how bad drunk driving can be. The bar. That's where he's. We need to go to the bar right now. Sure. He's letting them go to another bar. What the f is going on? This is weird. Someone get these guys off the road. Oh, nice, nice. Now he has the passenger driving for him while he's taking a nap. This is ridiculous. <laughs> he's still drinking. What? Come on, cameraman. Do something. He's just going to let him go. Oh, yep. Now they're freaking out. Oh, great. And they came in like a... Oh, and I failed to mention... They were chasing after a Budweiser truck before this even happened! was a good boys. They never done no harm to nobody. But that drunk driving I done do say has got to have consequences. Can I get an oh, amen? Amen. This would never happen if they hadn't if they were to call the taxi or a friend who's not been drinking to take him home, none of this would ever happen. But Real quick, since I'm I'm pretty fed up with this already. <laughs> Real quick, let's uh let's show you the right way to do it. Let's take it away, guy number one and guy number two. Can you drive? No, I can't drive. Can you drive? We just call it. We just call it taxi. You know what? That is a smart idea. Good job. Hey kid, <laughs> if you're really drunk and wasted. The smart thing to do is call a cab. Like we are doing right now, because we are responsible. Oh, I spilled my beer. <laughs> ah, couldn't have said it better myself. There's many great reasons why you should call a cab. First of all, you um, lose the risk of dying. That's a really good chance. That's a great reason. You don't die. And plus, you get to relax. You get to chill in the back and just let the taxi driver do all the work and plus and I say the best reason of them all is cause you get to ride with this guy look at them shades look at those sideburns that is something this dude is so proud of are those sideburns this dude has so much style he is a hell of a lot of fun to ride with so there's your reason well I'm done here narrator dude you you take it I, this has been a one hell of a journey I hope the images and videos you've seen today will help shed light on the tragedy caused by drunk driving accidents. Please, make responsible decisions and use designated drivers to get home safely after drinking. Thank you for watching this video. I just like some credits.